Hello, this time let us explore the first and second Colt percussion revolvers. And of course, we have to start with the man himself, Samuel Colt. From an early age, he showed a great curiosity for mechanical inventions. And in 1829, at the age of 15, he began working in his father's textile factory, where he had access to tools, materials, and the knowledge of the factory workers. Three years later, in 1832, at the age of 18, his father financed the creation of two prototype weapons, a musket and a pistol. The musket worked, but the pistol blew up during trials and his father didn't fund any more projects. But Colt, he had already decided to enter the world of arms production and looked for new ways to finance his future projects. And his first project was to create a new pepper revolver. And a pepper revolver is a weapon that has multiple barrels, with each barrel having a charge of gunpowder and a bullet. But precisely, that multiple barrel configuration is not practical. It makes the weapon heavy and expensive. At that time, when Colt was pondering about the pepper revolver, he was working on a ship. And the official story is that during that time he observed how the steering wheel of the ship worked and that it was his source of inspiration to create a new handgun with a revolving chamber. And in that revolving chamber there were multiple charges of gunpowder and bullets, which could be fired from a single barrel. That is the official story. But there are also two possible alternatives. Colt lived in the world of guns, and he was constantly reviewing the history of firearms, and he was also learning about contemporary creations. So, within the history of firearms, we have the invention of the Englishman James Buckle, who, in 1718, patented a rapid firing light cannon, and precisely, that light cannon had a single barrel and a six-cylinder revolving chamber. That chamber was manually operated using a lever, which placed each cylinder behind the barrel of the gun, and each shot was fired using a flintlock mechanism. That gun was extremely interesting. But her internal mechanism was truly complex, and thus, very expensive. There were no sales, and the Puckel light gun was an economic failure. The second possible option of inspiration could have been based on an existing weapon, Elisha Collier's flintlock revolver, a revolver that was invented in 1814. And its big difference with any other flintlock pistol of that time is that that revolver had a rotary chamber. In her case, that weapon did enjoy modest sales, but Collier's flintlock revolver was not a commercial success. If Cole came into contact with any of these weapons, he could have found the inspiration to create his first revolver, the Colt Patterson for which he filed a patent in London in 1835, and later in the United States in 1836. But beyond having been able to draw inspiration from those weapons, we must recognize that the Colt Patterson revolver had great improvements over any other similar weapon that preceded it. In the case of the Puckles light gun, that weapon was very heavy, and very complex. Instead, Colt simplified the internal mechanism of his revolver and greatly reduced the size of his weapon to the size of Collier's revolver. Furthermore, the firing mechanism in Collier's gun was not practical, 
Instead, Cole placed a percussion mechanism in his revolver to make it way more reliable. And with that, and other improvements, he set forth to create his brand new handgun. But beyond those improvements, Colt's revolver was relatively expensive, and there were also some handling difficulties. Therefore, few of his weapons were sold. The Colt Patterson revolver was a financial failure, and for a time, Colt had to partially exit the firearms business. The years passed by. It seemed that his revolver was just going to be another novelty of his time. However, during the Second Seminole War, an action was fought which gave his weapon an enormous reputation. During that war, a detachment of 15 United States soldiers equipped with muskets and Cole Patterson revolvers defeated 70 Seminole warriors, and the revolvers were fundamental for their victory, because these delivered a devastating hail of bullets at point-blank range. The reputation of that weapon reached new heights, and with renewed interest in his revolver, Colt set out to improve it with the help of Captain Samuel Walker, and their work led to a new revolver, the Colt Walker. This weapon was designed in 1847 and was a financial success, and the rest is history. Of course, I have to clarify that Colt never said that he was the inventor of the revolver, but instead, he said that the, he modified it to make it a better weapon. Well, for this video, I want to point out that the two main topics are inspiration and perseverance. The inspiration of an individual to create something new can come from a great variety of sources. And as a great example of that simple reality, I have to mention that providential fall of an apple in front of Isaac Newton, which we have been told that allowed him to infer the law of gravity. In the case of Samuel Colt, he was an individual with a curious mind who set himself to be an inventor and a manufacturer of weapons. In his case, he could have been inspired by the steering wheel of a ship to create his revolver, or he could have been inspired by either Puckles or Collier's guns. However, beyond having seen those weapons, Colt made extensive modifications to create his first and then his second revolver. And the point is that inspiration by itself is not relevant without work and improvements. And in that context, Colt's second revolver is a great example of the enormous importance of perseverance. Colt's first revolver was a great economic failure, but Colt could sense that he was on the right track because his first revolver had vast improvements over similar weapons of his age. So, when he received a purchase order in 1847 for 1,000 of his new and improved Colter Walker revolvers, he sought and obtained the funding to establish a new weapons factory. And that perseverance, not to abandon a product that was better than any other that were already on the market, that perseverance was the secret of his success. Well, I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. That is a great help. And you can also support me through my Patreon account which is also a great help for me to continue creating this content. Regards from Guatemala, Victor Aguilar Chang.